How you feeling? Like I'm not holding up my end of the bargain. What do you mean? Uh, it's Dirk's team. I know that. I wanted that, but... I want to be able to get these boys more than I've been giving them, Dad. Okay. So, do it. You're only down to one. I know. It's just... I could feel it slipping away already. <laughs> Why'd you sign with Dallas, Prince? Because I wanted to win. He didn't just want to win. You wanted to prove that you weren't some lazy, entitled, stat pad and brat. You want to stop this series from slipping away? Be the player you know you are, not the one they say you are. Dad, I am trying. Don't try. Do it. Empty the tank and make life miserable for LeBron. Do the thing they said you never do and sacrifice for the team. Doesn't matter if you score zero points. You're gonna win this thing by stopping LeBron. It's that simple. It's not that simple. It's not easy. Look, I know you're trying, son. But it's time to find another gear. You gotta go out there and take what's yours. I'm telling you right now, that trophy is yours. You just gotta want it bad enough. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I believe in you. Straighten it out, you got it. I'm standing here with former NBA tough guy, Truck, the proud father of Prince a possible X Factor in this year's NBA's Finals. Truck, how do you feel? I feel good, Larry, thanks. Over the course of your career, you had front row seats to a number of deep playoff runs. Any advice you have for Prince heading into tonight's game? Well, it ain't too much I can tell him that he don't already know, but yeah, I shared some things with him. What did you share? Just mostly have confidence. You know, I just go out there and do the things he's capable of, and he can definitely help Dirk and Jason and them even things up. Thank you so much, Truck, for your time. Now let's kick it back to our announcing team for tonight's game. Major buzz around downtown Dallas. The basketball world is centered here. Series, they need others like Prince, J.J. Barea, Sean Marion to rise up. Score so it's not all on dirt. After years of losing with the Clippers, Prince decided to sign with Dallas. He was a 20-point-per-game scorer in Los Angeles. But he joined the Mavs to win a title. Good move by Prince. He's three wins away from a ring. And for the Miami Heat and their coach, Eric Spolstra. Their five, 13-year veteran Mike Bibby runs the point. Dwayne Wade and LeBron James, the superstar wing duo. All-star Chris Bosh at the four. And Joel Anthony is the center. And the winner for a hungry Mavericks team looking to even this series. Their head coach is Rick Carlisle. Ten-time All-Star Jason Kidd is at the point. The other guard spot, Prince, the defensive stopper. Do-it-all athlete Sean Marion is the wing. 2007 MVP Dirk Nowitzki plays the power forward. And the seven-footer Tyson Chandler in the middle. And MP getting to 2,000 points at a record pace. One of the many storylines tonight, Prince trying to win a title. Change the narrative around his career. And for more, David Ol Guys? Good stuff, David. That's a Hall of Fame report if I've ever heard one. You know, Mike Prince with a huge opportunity tonight. Fair or not, when we look back at someone's career, we always ask, did you win a... Yeah, Bibby subbed in for Mario Chalmers. And Mike, obviously, the talk of the NBA this year, this Miami Heat team, the Heatles, as they're being called, boy, did they struggle a bit out of the gates. Starting the year 9-8, and eight, but they figured some things out. Won 20 of their next 21 games to get to 30-9. and nine. And they have cruised in the playoffs, losing just three games in their three Eastern Conference rounds. So much skill. D has to play Prince tight. Drew a foul that time. This is his first free throw of the game. 
shooter. If Chalmers gets this shot, he's taking it. Prince outside. Novinsky has a screen for Prince. There's the drive. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. First free throw is good. With his handles and ability to create for others, Prince is at his best with the ball in his hand. Not something we see very often from players in his position. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. Brendan Haywood, he's jumped in for Channing. Butler comes in for Novitsky. And Morea subs in for Kidd. Then for the Heat, Haslam 
Prince has got 39. Prince is so tough to corral in that two-man game because of his size and skill. Wade against Terry. Right here, right here. Right in the back. Th thank you, sir. Friends, people are calling this one of the greatest individual defensive efforts in the NBA Finals history. Keeping LeBron James under 10 points for the first time in 433 consecutive contests. How do you respond to that? Defense is a team-wide thing, and you don't stop somebody like LeBron James all by yourself. I was just doing my best to play my part. Prince, 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 Prince right here, right here. Right in the back. Do you think you've unlocked the secret to slowing down LeBron? <laughs> no, no, someone like LeBron, he's going to bounce back. You just got to do your best and pray that he misses some shots he usually doesn't. So what do you think was the key to tonight's victory if not for your defense? Dirt. Yeah, fighting through his illness the way he did, he gave us that spark. He's the leader of this team. And seeing him gut through something the way he did, Man, that's inspirational. You know, it inspired me, that's for sure. Prince, 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 Prince. If you want to be remembered, you got to win titles. Nobody cares about how many points you score in the regular season if you can't back it up when it counts. Yeah, you don't have to be humble like I did. <laughs> you know the game is bigger than you. But if you want to be in that greatest of all time debate, you got to stack championships all the same. Hey, I'm working on it. Hey, keep working. You're going to get there. You got twice the natural ability I had. Plus, you got the maturity to know how to use it. Wait a minute. When you start getting all lovey-dovey on me, Pop, what's with all the compliments? You got plenty of hugs growing up. Don't act like I was some drill sergeant. <laughs> hey, you weren't a kindergarten teacher either, though. That's because I saw greatness in you, and I knew if you didn't fulfill that greatness, you'd regret it for the rest of your life. But, hey, I wasn't no stage mom either. If you weren't <laughs> about this life, I would have backed off. I would have been just as happy if you were an electrician or a lawyer, whatever, but... Son, you had that dog in you. Always have. Now you got the opportunity to be the best basketball player who ever lived. So I'm going to do everything I can to help you get there. That's a promise I made you a long time ago. And I ain't never going to break it.